Hey everyone, Marianne Gillespie here. All right, so a question that I'm asked a lot of the times is, you know, how do you stay on top of social media and all the content we have to create? Um, it is overwhelming, isn't it? Um, here's the thing, it works. You do have to pour out a lot of content. In today's day and age, it's like you're getting more and more content that you have to pour, uh, pour out there. So here's the, just a suggestion. It's what I do. It doesn't mean it's that, you know, I'm certainly not the best and I'm certainly not the worst at it. I'm getting better, but I feel like maybe I can share because I'm feeling the exact same way. I feel it's very very overwhelming at times and you're constantly fighting to get to the top of it. Um, so what I do when it comes to clients and whatnot, I usually suggest that you take note throughout the week. Um, so maybe you have a whiteboard or you have a notepad or something, you know, you put in your phone, but have it in one place. And what I suggest is uh, just label it videos for social media. And then all throughout the week, I want you to just take note of what the hottest topics are. If you're seeing online that there's a lot of news about interest rates, great. So then, you know, what is the problem? What is the hottest topic about those interest rates and then put that down there okay um, if you're having the same question all the time asked of a consumer then put that down there um, if you're hearing a problem and you're trying to attract people to work for your, your company or your team or whatnot and you're hearing the same problem that normally team members on other teams were having great well then put that down there and so by the end of the week you should have a list of like 15 to 20 different topics randomly that you're you're seeing okay and that you've put down there and then what I do is on a Sunday, I spend two hours, I pull out that list and I just do it. Boom, boom, boom. I record all my videos to the topics. It's way easier that way. I take them, I put them into a G drive. It's just late. I save them right to the G drive and I go, you know what? Videos for social media. I label all of them. I write a quick description, send it to email to a social media VA. She goes in, she edits all of them. I don't even look at them. And then they pass them to the social media team who schedules all the postings. So the, really the only thing I do is I prefer to create my own content like meaning I prefer to look and see what's out there as the hottest topics and then react to it every single week and I think that the reason why I'm seeing so many people struggle with social media is the same reason I struggled with it is is that I would get time to do the video and I wouldn't know what to do so I'd be like I forget all the things I want to talk about and then I'd take me two hours would be gone like that so I find that really just taking note throughout the whole week and then systemizing it and putting it in one place and having a VA pull it out and they just edit everything I don't even look at them afterwards I don't even know what's going out anymore and I feel like that's just a better process for me and I think that that's going to allow me to expand as well and it keeps the topics fresh it keeps it relevant and I'm very confident with the topic choices that I pick so hopefully that tip helps it's nothing too sexy on that level but it is a really easy smooth tip to help you uh, get your social media content consistent but also to be doing what's relevant